It was Eric Hoffner who said that in times of change, the learners inherit the earth and the learned are fully equipped for a world that no longer exists. Hello everybody. My name is Quinn Sergis and welcome to yet another episode of the Game Changers podcast. My guest today is a young man who has social entrepreneurship at heart. His name is Christopher Randy Walcott and it's my privilege to introduce him to you. Hello, Chris. How are you doing, man? I'm amazing, brother. I'm in mint condition right now. <laughs> ah, I like to wear that. That's what I like to wear, man. Beautiful, beautiful. And yourself, how are you doing? Oh, I'm great. You know, I'm happy and grateful that you are on here today. You know, I have been meaning to have you on and you're finally here. Hey, the pleasure is all mine, my friend. And I'm um, definitely is indeed an honor being a part of this show. Great. So let's get straight into it, man. Tell the people a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a serial social entrepreneur. And my focus, my vision is to impact the lives of one million people spiritually, physically, and financially. That's truly my goal. You know, I've been in this space of social entrepreneurship, I'll say about 15 years now. And my really true drive was to develop companies that will impact the community in a very positive manner. So these companies would now be able to give back to society through whatever business they have made. Because most businesses, they truly just focus on making money. My focus was to develop entities that will actually give back to society. So uh, we are doing an amazing job over the last five years. I've developed uh, five successful companies that has been helping and impacting people, not just through business, but through that social aspect of, you know, giving persons another chance, giving persons an opportunity to make it through life, right? Each one reach one. I like to call it our pay it forward program. Oh, beautiful. I like that a lot, man. You, and I know that, you know, in business, social corporate responsibility is a big thing. And impacting lives of people is also an important thing. So I, I'm happy to hear that. Absolutely, bro. Now, now, for those who don't know specifically what social entrepreneurship is, tell them what exactly it is. Sure. A social entrepreneur is someone who sees social ills in their society that creates social problems that need social change. And to create that change, you need social ventures to battle these issues. So I was part of a program called Brother By My Side, where we go to battered boys and girls' homes and be that uh, male influence in their lives, right? We help them with skill sets, developing them, their mindsets, as well as helping them through giving them IT skills. Because we know information technology will always be needed. For sure. And that is something we want to equip them so they have an advantage when they come out in the real work, working world to make the difference that truly counts. And uh, what I appreciate too is that during this process, we have been able to create a dynamic space for people to actually win, right? Is is a winning formula. You got to be willing. You got to take the initiative and you got to never quit. All right? Wonderful. Wonderful. And that's an amazing I initiative. And, you know, I'm seeing that um, your business is impacting the lives of people. And I think that's a pretty interesting business model. All right, so let's go back in history a bit, man. Sure. Tell me where it all began for you. You know, I like to learn people's why. You know, where did it begin for you? Maybe in your childhood? What part of your childhood or your early years influenced who you are today? Well, just like everyone, I was born naked and upside down. All right? <laughs> and, uh, it should be told, you know, growing up, it was really tough, right? It was challenging, especially financially, right? I grew up working in the market with my mom. It was truly a experience that looking back or looking forward today 
I did not appreciate what I was going through then. But today I can tell you I appreciate that tr- struggle because without struggle, there is no success. Your current situation is not your permanent destination. And I made an impact in my mind. I made a clear focus that if it has to be, it's up to me. And with God, all things are possible. So from there, I started to focus on education in a, in a big way, right? Uh, because that's what we have been taught. Go to school, get good grades, get good education. And I followed it to a T, right? The reality is I did not even have money to go to school, right? I had to work in a factory. I used to work uh, health foods in Trinidad, that's in Morocco, St. Joseph. And um, for me to actually start school, I made a deal with the University of the Southern Caribbean to actually go through the process of me working and studying by them paying my tuition. So wow. it was a process. You know, early in the morning, um, carrying heavy bag of wheat on my back, going up a steps and coming back down with a heavy bag of granola. It was a, it was a struggle. And then going to school thereafter, mind you, I was studying computer software engineering, and I did not even have a a computer. Right, I didn't even have a laptop to go to school. I used to have to go in the library to do programming. Uh, many people don't know that, but you know, thank God I made it through. And you know, I have multiple degrees by the grace of God. Then I went on to a master's when that wasn't working, and I started to grow further and further from there. But that was just on the education side. You know, what really got me focused on impacting people's lives is when I started to go and be a part of the Pathfinder Club, you know, being in the community, doing different activities. And I got a love to make people smile. You know, I got a love to be able to impact a family by giving them a bag of groceries. And from there, just being involved in community activities, I um, actually got involved by being a youth member of parliament. I was actually selected to be a youth member of parliament for my community. And I was there being able to create policies that actually has helped pave the way for a lot of youth institutions today. Uh, Afterwards, you know, based on my experience and, you know, the successes I would have gotten, I was selected to be the first global change maker out of Trinidad and Tobago. I was selected by the British Council. It was indeed an honor and privilege. And I could tell you, God just started to open a lot of doors for me. Man, I could go on and on. Uh, based on different ventures. I, I was actually a speaker at the Obama Summit, right? I was the only person representing the Caribbean there at the Obama Summit. And I, I was grateful to just be a part of that experience. You know, I did short films on his social inequalities and things just started to progress from there. And what I saw that was a challenge was that I was doing all these things and was taking money out of my pocket or I have to depend on a grant or depend on someone to sponsor. And I said, here's what, we need to be more sustainable. So I started to look at strategies and opportunities where persons could do such. And that is how I formed my NGO called the International Movement for Change, which seeks to develop social entrepreneurs. And here's where we fast forward today, that we are developing companies and we are partnering with institutions to give people another way, to show persons that they have the ability to create a dynamic future by impacting their mentality. Beautiful. Wow. What a story, man. Now we see that, that you're not <laughs> a, you, a come-by-night guy. You know, you, you're somebody who knows what it is to struggle, knows what it is to live a difficult life, and then transform your life into something amazing that that that's an amazing um story and it also it helps you understand you know why you want to see others win so badly because oh, yeah. you know mm-hmm. what it is not to win and now you want others to win that's beautiful bro it's always good to give back. You know, that's how you show gratitude. Right? Beautiful. Gratitude is deceived. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, for sure. 
I, I like that, bro. Okay, so I know in collaboration with your social entrepreneurship, you're also heavy in the digital entrepreneurship space. Um, yes. How do you get involved in that space, first of all? And why is it so important in today's age? Well, how I got involved, uh, great question. How I got involved in the space of digital entrepreneurship is that I was studying computer software engineering and we were always programmed to do programs right, to solve problems. Right. And in the digital space, right, we were always, that was our home, right? And the truth be told, I gravitated towards it. What I tell folks is that, you know, digital entrepreneurship is what all of us are involved in, but we just don't make money from it. Let me ask you, why is digital entrepreneurship so important? The question is to ask also, why is the internet so important? Right? We need the internet right. for every single thing in our lives. Hospitals, uh, pharmacies, uh, businesses, the people who actually run the state. We all need the internet. That's how we're communicating right now. So from the dot-com era, you know, 25 odd years ago, to now we are in the metaverse era. Right, where persons are doing businesses digitally, right, conducting meetings in the metaverse using Web3 tools. This is where we are today. And if you're not up to the times, you're not only going to suffer a digital divide, but a financial one as well. So that is why this space is so integral for us to win. We are the future. Game Changers proudly supports Kids Health Creative, a publishing house encouraging children ages 4 to 12 to live healthy lifestyles, all while having good, clean fun. Get their latest book, Be Smart, at 10% off when you use promo code QUEENST at checkout. That's Q-U-I-N-N-S-T at checkout. Get yours today. Hello, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the episode. This episode was made possible through a platform called Riverside FM. It's a platform that I've grown to love, and it really does justice to creators. Unlike Zoom or other platforms, it records content locally and then uploads it to the cloud, so you have a seamless video. If you are a creator and looking to get into this space, this is the platform for you. Click the link down below to get started today. Have you gotten your official Game Changers merch yet? If not, what are you waiting for? Get yourself a hip trendy t-shirt or hoodie that is sure to turn heads. T-shirts only cost $55 easy and hoodies go for $120 easy. Highlight your inner Game Changer. Get yours today. Yes, sir. 100%. Yeah, and we live in a technical world, so I mean, it makes sense to get involved where the technicals are and become Absolutely. empowered in that space. So, so then how do you actually help the people or businesses that connect with you. So you, you said who you help, but how do you help them? Right? So one of the most important things I learned from one of my mentors, Bob Proctor, God rest his soul, he said, education is not expensive. Ignorance is. I'll ah. say that again. Education is not expensive. Ignorance is. 
And sometimes we can be ignorant to the fact that people need the right form of education to get them out of their current situation. So we educate people with skill sets that could help them be able to create jobs from right from the comfort of their homes, empowering them. So they do not need to depend on a job, right? J-O-B, just over, just broke, over broke, right? Yes, sir. I'm not <laughs> down on jobs, I'm up on opportunities. And the opportunity we have here today is that regardless of what is going on in the situation in the world, regardless of what pandemic, regardless of what um, the government is doing, you could be able to have a skill set that can make you independent to provide for your family and to put food on the table. So we impact persons with the right knowledge, right? They say knowledge is not power. Some say knowledge is power. I don't fully agree with that. Knowledge is only power when applied because we can share the right knowledge for you to get better in your health. But if you don't take the ingredients and apply it, you will not become better. And this is how we actually impact people, giving them solutions, giving them the ability to find a way out. So through our digital entrepreneurship platform, we actually educate persons now how to create businesses right from the comfort of their home, right? And the cool thing about it, it is that we have an educational platform, gives persons the ability to uh, learn about the NFT and metaverse space, learn about uh, financial literacy, which I believe is extremely important all right, in today's world, learn about real estate and Airbnb. We also teach persons about how to create their own transportation business without owning any physical cars. And of course, digital and uh, digital advertising and marketing, right? These are some important skill sets that you could learn so you could earn on the go, so you could earn from wherever you are in the world. So we realize what is happening in the economic space that people are so dependent on their jobs that if their jobs go, they also go. Right? They also fall by the wayside. We have created a space now where persons can create their own businesses and to be self-sufficient, self-sustainable. And that is what we need to be teaching our children today, how to become self-sustainable. Yes, sir. So I'm seeing that you're highlighting, you know, areas that are sustainable, areas that would help people expand their knowledge and, and tap into the potential of where the world is going. Right? Because if you, if you get left behind, you will never be able to catch up you know um i know there's a quote that you like in particular because i know you personally eric hoffner who said in times of change and you can help me with the rest yes in times of change you learners inherit the earth why the learned are beautifully equipped for a world that no longer exists and as you could definitely see what's happening with our world today everything has literally upgraded so what you used to do 10, 25 years ago has changed, right? One thing in life that is permanent is a word called change, and change is inevitable. So we definitely need to change with the times. If we will be left by the wayside, you know, as I say, look at what happened to Blockbuster, all right? When Netflix came on the scene, persons gravitated to, hey, I could simply just watch my movies on the phone. Persons who used to have DVD stores, what happened to them today? Right? They are fading God. out. This is where we are today. Right? Guess what? Persons who, you know, didn't want to upgrade in the transportation industry, they are now being left behind. So we are grateful for the Wright brothers, right? Who, who started that, that plane industry. And now things are definitely advancing where uh, transportation is concerned, where healthcare is concerned, and where education is concerned as well. The way we conduct business is totally different from 25 years ago. So we got to upgrade our skill sets so we could be able to have an advantage in this ever-changing world. For sure. Now, Chris, you spoke about the application of knowledge, right? Without the application yes. of the knowledge, we will never be successful. 
But absolutely, I know that it takes a, a a mindset to apply that knowledge. Speak to the importance of a healthy mindset. Very good. So we want to take that the angle of speaking about a healthy mindset from the word mentality, right? Me, when you break up the word mentality, we, we cut the word me. Me means you, right? You personally, right? Then we have tality, right? Mental. So we have me, which is you. Your mental, right, is your mindset. How do you impact your mindset is by what you're listening to. You are affected by your five senses. Sight, smell, taste, touch, hearing. These are the doorways to your subconscious. So if you are not feeding your subconscious mind with the right information because the subconscious mind doesn't know what to accept or what to reject. So your mentality is governed by your five senses. So if you're not managing what your senses are interacting with, you will be definitely opening yourself to accepting anything. And hmm. no, because you're accepting anything, you are not able to become that strong individual. Tality is, you know, people, the person you are around. So you need to have the right mentality to be able now to be around the right people that will actually help uplift how your life experience is going to be. So mentality is so important as you go towards becoming the better version of yourself. You become what you think about. You become what you think about. Let's really think about that phrase, right? Those six words. Your thoughts are things. That really cool headphones you have on your ears was somebody's thought. And they crafted it into the physical aspect of our life, of our being. Look at the walls, right? That was somebody's thought. How to structure, right? How to design it. We wear people's thoughts. This jacket I have on was designed by somebody's thought. The design, right? Our thoughts are things. So if you want to change the things in our lives, we have to change the thoughts that we have. How do we change our thoughts? By our five senses, by our mentality. So every day I ensure before I get up, I put myself into a mindset of success. Before I touch my phone, right? Before I respond to any messages, I, you know, do particular routines that will help my mindset to give me the success today, right? So I pray. I thank God for life first. I give gratitude to God because he is from where all blessings flow. Gratitude, right? I have my signs that I have up in my room because I govern my mind to see the right things. The reason people have challenges getting a target because they don't see it. How could you go after something you don't see, right? And we could go really deep into that, but definitely you need to position yourself to grow yourself, right? And that is where... It comes to full circle, your mentality, right? You know, some people don't believe in the saying, birds of a feather flock together. That is absolutely true. Look at your five friends. You are the average of your five friends. And that is absolutely true. If I did not change my environment, right? If I didn't change my internal environment first, my external environment would not have changed. So it's so important your mentality. Wow. There are so many snippets in that just small segment that I know our listeners had gems. I, I, I hope they have pen and pad, you know, taking down notes <laughs> because, wow, that was powerful. Certainly powerful. All right. So, Chris, we're moving on to our, our favorite segment here, the quick hitters segment. You know, quick hitters is a segment that will tell about Chris the person, at least a little bit more about Chris the person, you know, your fun side. Sure. Right? And, and we'll, we'll get to know you 
on the lighter side. So what you like on the lighter side. All right? Yeah, absolutely, bro. Good. So let's get into it. What type of music do you like to listen to? I have about five genres I like to listen to, right? Legitimately, one, I listen to meditation music, right? To get myself and my mindset in a frame of mind for success. Two, I listen to gospel. Definitely, um, I'm a servant of the Lord. I love Jesus Christ. And I, I listen to gospel music to keep my mind upwards. Three, I listen to R&B, right? I love um, smooth jazz. I love saxophone. And um, I have my genre where I listen to a little reggae, right? But there are certain types, right? And, you know, I have a beautiful wife. So I definitely listen to some good love music. Okay. Yeah, yes, sir. You have to have it there. Yes, yes, yes. That's important. All right. So my next question. I ask all my guests this question. Chris, Apple or Android? I prefer Android. Why? One, I love community. I like the both devices but I have more flexibility with Android. I'm a guy, I love flexibility. From almost any type of Android, I can transfer data and files. I can communicate right. easily, right? Um, the tributal majority of the world is Android, right? And there's a reason for that. Now, people love the exclusive community that iOS has, but soon they wouldn't like it because of the subscription. Uh, they, they are coming with some uh, model thereby persons have to pay for everything, right? So almost everything on the phone you have to pay for, right? right? So people love ability to have that open flexibility. So I, I like my Android, you know, good good things, right? I like my yep. note, right? My my note. So it, it it gives me what I could do, and that is why I really appreciate it, that openness. Okay, interesting. And and I can hear the tech, you know, the tech background coming in there. All right, and my final quick heater question to you. Who would you like to see on Game Changers? I would definitely love to see my personal coach and mentor, Mr. Gary McSween. All right, wow. he's a phenomenal leader. He's a pinnacle leader in my book. Right, a legend in the industry of direct sales and marketing. Um, and he would have helped shape uh, a lot of financial decisions over the past four years. I've been being mentored by him. And I'm grateful because now I've been able to, you know, mentor other folks as well, show them, you know, different strategies and ways that they could grow themselves. Uh, just like you, Quinn, you know, uh, it was a joy to guide you and help you along your journey and I've seen and I'm very proud of what I've seen you become right and you have so much not just potential but you have so much to offer to the world and they will see that light shine before men that they will glorify your father which is in heaven all right so definitely my mentor uh he's a legend all right and uh, he's a best-selling author and now today we are on a vision to impact, empower, and enrich 1 billion families with our platform that we have here today to give persons a solution for this time. Yeah? So that's what I love to see. For sure. For sure. And uh, you know, I, whenever I ask that question, I encourage my guests to send me, you know, link me. Connect me <laughs> to that person that you said, you know? I'll, I would love to have Mr. McSween on here, for sure. For sure. I would love to have a most, conversation. Most definitely. Uh, I'll see if I could pull in a little favor for you there, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. 100%. All right. So we, we're moving on to so, the other segment, the final segment of our interview. I know that you're heavy in the financial literacy space. You know, you like to teach people how to use their money and how to use it wisely. Why is financial literacy so important? Very good question. I think financial literacy is just like oxygen. 
you always need more income, right? You always need more flexibility because the tribute to from primary school to tertiary education, we have never been taught financial literacy. Why is that? It's because there are certain systems in place that is to keep persons on a particular level, right? Why is some people rich and some people poor? Because the rich and wealthy have goals and the poor and middle class have jobs. But we are not taught how to navigate from one side of the spectrum to the next side. We are not taught how to manage our finances. We are not taught how to be good stewards of you know, the blessing God has given us. And that is why financial literacy is the only thing that could save people from being in continuous debt, from being in the continuous rat race, right? So we teach persons, right, how to come on the rat race to make their passive income overshadow their expenses. And that is so integral. Why there are so many people who are struggling today? Because they were not taught financial literacy, proper ways of budgeting, proper ways of how to manage your expenditure. And this is integral. That is why, you know, over 80% of the people in the world are in debt. I've always said, you know, people like to misquote the Bible. The Bible never says that money is the root of all evil, you know. The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. If, In other words, if you hold money and you don't use it to impact others or, or you love money or money is your cent central focus and not people, you know, you lose it and that's not good financial literacy. Would you agree with that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I really like, you know, where this interview has gone, Chris. And I am seeing that you are impacting lives like you've impacted mine. But w when people listen to this interview, I know they'll want more. You know, they'll want to hear more from you. So how can people get in contact sure. with you? They could get in touch with me on most social platforms, Instagram, Facebook. They could just simply search for my name, Christopher Randy Walcott, LinkedIn. And um, definitely you could connect there through my website as well. And you have the ability to interact where we could create something very dynamic for you based on your particular situation, right? 2023 is your year of miracles. Beautiful. And we'll definitely leave the links down below as usual. So, you know, you can get contact with Chris very quickly. Okay. My final question to you. A young person is watching this interview and was inspired by you and wants to become just like you. What advice will you give to that young person? One is to actually know why. Why? Your top five whys is important. You know, why do you want to become like me? Right. I, I would tell people always go go higher, right? Go better than I, you know, because is 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 not I but Christ. And I could tell persons that they have the ability to go beyond what they see. So if you want a target, that's great. But I will always help you to aim for higher. So the first step you want to do in setting your goals, right? Write down your top five whys, right? The second step is to write down your top five goals, right? Your why is different from your goals. Your why is something that will make you not quit on your process to becoming a better version of yourself, on your process to really accomplish your goals. Your goals is really your targets, right? If you do not write down your goals, how do you see what you want to go and attain? So it, there's something very special in what I just said there. Uh, what I encourage persons is to be specific when they're setting their goals, right? Um, most goals may not already have a time, you know, attachment to it, but you want to be specific, you know, and have something that is time bound as well. That is how you know you can actually hit it in a particular time. And that is definitely needed, right? Um, other thing is get a coach and a mentor. You need a coach and a mentor. You need someone who has gone the path before. Regardless of what a field of business you are in, you need a coach and a mentor. You do not need to burn to learn. The persons who would have already went through that process. All right. So 
a mentor and a coach is the shortcut, right? Leadership is the shortcut. Get someone who's a leader who could actually guide you step by step and help you on your pathway to success. That is what I will share with persons who, you know, want to get involved in this space, in the industry of entrepreneurship, and even more so, becoming the best version of yourself. Yes, sir. Beautiful advice. Beautiful advice, man. And like I said, you know, I will encourage our viewers and our listeners to download this episode on Spotify or whatever streaming platform that you listen to and get a notepad, literally get a notepad and write out the information that you've heard here. And I'm sure, I'm 100% sure it will impact your life in ways that you cannot imagine. Chris, I do thank you for coming on. You know, you, like I've said earlier on, are an impactful person to me. You have impacted me and I know you will continue to impact others. Thank you for having me, bro. Don't stop being yourself. Never stop being yourself and continue to push the status quo and change the status quo for what it means to be an entrepreneur and a youth leader in today's age. Thank you, brother. And, uh, you know, these sentiments is all shared as well. You know, continue aspiring. Don't give up. Don't quit. Go until, you know, that is your word for 2023, until, right? This is a year of miracles, but you will have challenges. You will have trials, right? But there is no triumph without trials, right? It's definitely needed. And I'm excited for you, bro. I'm very proud of what you're creating here on Game Changers. And even more so, the impact that you're making, right? You may not know the impact that you're making until you start to realize wait hey i reach episode 100 i reach episode right. 1000 right it is a continued process right success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal continue having the right ideals right put god first and uh i already seen you as a an international leader not just in saint lucia but all over the world, my friend, all right? It is already done for you. And anyone who is, you know, in your space, they are blessed. And uh, guys, you know, connect with Quinn. He has some amazing things coming, right? Uh, to impact his community. So I'm excited. I'm fired up because it is already done. 2023 is the year of miracles, right? Love win victory. <laughs> amen, amen. I love that, bro. I felt like I was in church, man. <laughs> this was yet another episode of Game Changers. And to thank you guys, as usual, for coming on. Remember to like, subscribe, not just on YouTube, but on all streaming platforms. We're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts, you will be able to get this episode as well. And remember, as I said earlier on, to download the episode and have a listen on the go when you're going to work. Impact your day early. Anyhow, as usual, stay hungry and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.